and welcome to the Mr. Obvious Show. I'm your host, Mr. Obvious, and welcome to our special Christmas presentation of the Mr. Obvious program. <laughs> this week, let's take a trip around the house and focus on Christmas decorations. If your home's like the Mr. Obvious household, you'll be looking to buy that Christmas tree and install it in your living room. <laughs> now, you can find Christmas trees at various Christmas tree lots around town. Of course, most of these are run by fine nonprofit organizations. That's a good way. Or perhaps you could be like Papa Obvious and venture into the woods yourself with a nice sharp axe and cut down your own Christmas tree. Now, once you get your Christmas tree, of course, you'll need to take it home. And this is a time you're going to want to start your Mr. Obvious checklist. <laughs> you'll need to measure your tree yeah. and then measure the area in your home where you'd like to install <laughs> your Christmas tree. Of course, measure from floor to ceiling mm -hmm. and measure your tree and trim the bottom. This is yeah. crucial. The bottom of the tree <laughs> to fit your area of your home accordingly. <laughs> and have a very Merry Christmas. Hey! Well, I see we have a phone call here oh. on the Mr. Obvious show. There are always questions. Uh, hello, Mr. Obvious. Uh, uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. <laughs> hey, Mr. Obvious, a uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, listen, I'm uh, really enjoying the Christmas special. And, oh, that's good. Uh, well, I, I've done just what you said. I um, actually decided to follow in Papa Obvious's footsteps. Oh. Yeah, we, we went out in the woods, picked out a great big pine tree. Oh. Uh, used that great axe idea, yeah. <laughs> and uh, chopped it down that way, and uh, uh -huh. got a big, beautiful tree, Mr. O. Well, super, and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, um, now, uh, let's wait, take... M M Mr. Obvious? Yes. Well, here's, here's my problem. Uh-oh. Um, we got it home okay, and it uh, fit in the living room just great, because uh, I, I used that tape measure suggestion you had. <laughs> Great idea. Right, and you followed your checklist? Oh, yeah. yeah I had the checklist going, and uh, I got this tree in there, and it's a good-looking tree, but, uh, well, here's my problem. I chopped off the six inches, just like you said, off the bottom. On the bottom. Yep, and I, uh, I, I tried standing her up, and uh, it, it fits just fine. But, uh, well, it won't stay up there. <laughs> it, it just keeps falling over. <laughs> Now, now i got a Christmas tree on my floor, Mr. Obvious, and I mean, that ain't Christmas. Well, no, caller, that certainly isn't Christmas. I can see, I guess, how you might need a little help here. Yeah, I sure do, Mr. O. I, I, I even tried asking my neighbor for help. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a real handy guy around the house and has all kinds of fancy tools in his garage. Oh, everyone could use a good neighbor like that. So was he <laughs> able to solve your tree trouble? Uh, nope, nope. He, um, he, he said he didn't know a thing about it. He never tried to install a Christmas tree. Hmm, that is unusual. It seems like such a common thing. This is your next-door neighbor, you say? Uh, yep, yep. Good old Morty Leibowitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morty, uh, he, he's a great guy, but uh, he, he, he never hangs up any Christmas lights or, or decorations or nothing. <laughs> what do you suppose that's all about? Morty. Leibowitz, huh? <laughs> well, caller, I think that's a topic for another day. Let's just stick to the tree problem for now, okay? All right, whatever you say, Mr. O. All righty. Now, caller, have you tried standing your tree in some sort of uh, container? Hmm. I, I didn't think of that. Mm hmm That's not a bad suggestion. Mm hmm Um, what, what's the container for? You know, to give the tree some sort of support. Right. Okay, so just like put it in a trash can and that'll hold it up, right? No, not a not a trash can caller. Something that's a bit smaller and that could hold water to keep your tree nice and fresh for the entire Christmas season. So, something like, how about an old shoe? No, no, I don't think a shoe would work for you. You need something a little larger that would hold water. You could set your Christmas tree in. Now stick with me here, caller. Mm -hmm. How about a Christmas tree... Stand. Ooh. Stand. <laughs> Where do you reckon I might get one of them? Well, they're available at most of your larger hardware stores. It's called a Christmas tree stand. Christmas tree stand. Huh. I never made the connection. Uh -huh. That's a great idea, Mr. O. You know what? I, I think if we do it that way... We're going to be able to get lights around it and, and get ornaments hung on it where they'll stay, and we, we, we can probably even stick presents under the thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is going to be the best Christmas ever. Mr. Obvious, God bless 
you. Thank you very much. And God bless us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, caller, very much. And Merry Christmas to everyone. And this is Mr. Obvious saying so long for now. And join us again next time on the Mr. Obvious Show. Ha, <laughs> ha,